As a beta male, how can you navigate the gym, one of the most alpha environments known to man? Worry no more because I'm going to teach you how to double down on your weaknesses to turn your weaknesses into strengths by becoming weaker. Because for you, beta is the new alpha. So listen up, here's how to be a beta male in the gym. Don't bench press. To be a beta, not only do you bench press less on your own body weight, you don't bench press at all. You just need to claim it's not a functional exercise and it doesn't support your lifestyle of doing yoga, scrolling Instagram, and wearing glasses. Look down on muscular guys. Passive aggressively criticize well-muscled men for being muscular and do it behind their backs too. And probably not out loud either, just in case they hear you. Tell yourself a story, they're just compensating for their insecurities on the inside. This will help you feel more justified about your insecurities that are on the inside and on the outside. I wonder what they're compensating for. They're probably on steroids. They're probably Russian too. Wear mid-calf pants. Mid-calf leggings are neither shorts nor pants. They're beta. Short of wearing a tampon, they're the most beta thing you can wear. They always mean one of two things. You're either beta or British, but definitely both. Pro tip. Toe shoes are the tofu of footwear. Don't try to improve yourself. As a beta, you strive for self-acceptance, not self-improvement. You think it would be rejecting your true nature if you were to improve yourself, so you don't. So your steady regimen of 15 minutes of stretching and 45 minutes on the elliptical ensures that you burn approximately 3% more calories than if you were sitting on the couch, and it helps you build 0% more muscle which ensures you don't improve yourself or hurt your fragile feelings. I like you just the way you are. Joyfully say yes to spotting people. Be happy when someone asks you to spot them so they can lift more weight than they can actually lift. Your joy of getting acknowledged along with the relief that they're not beating you up leaves you happy to abandon your workout so you can support them in doing theirs. Hey bro, can you give me a spot? Oh yeah, happy to. Um, how else can I support you today? Oh, just a spot, that'd be okay. Okay. Only take gym selfies of your face. You don't take selfies showing off your body because you don't have a good one. Secondarily, even if you did, you still wouldn't because you would consider it body shaming against people who don't have a good body. I just feel like he's shaming me. Pro tip. It's good to be a beta male because if you're not, your balls might motivate you to have natural tendencies that women could misconstrue into Me Too allegations but when you're a beta male, you cut your own balls off so you don't have to worry. Abandon your equipment when someone looks at you. Whenever someone even remotely looks in your direction, interpret their glance as a sign that they want to use the equipment you're on. And then imagine they'll somehow hurt you if you don't let them have it because you're afraid of conflict and you're afraid of everything else. Then just walk away. Oh, hey, uh, did you want to use this? No, man. No, oh, no, it's all yours. Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry, serious. Feel relieved when you're not made fun of. Feel surprised each time an alpha male walks by you and doesn't make fun of you. The constant fear of confrontation you live in because your younger sister beat you up every day after school should get projected onto anyone around you who's stronger than you. Get offended by grunts. Anytime an alpha male grunts or screams because he's doing something called challenging himself, you should take his macroaggression as a personal attack against you and your weak character. Um, Aubrey was being really aggressive towards me, and I just don't feel like this is the environment for that. So, for the safety of me and everyone else, could you revoke his membership? No problem. Can you do that? Oh, hey, JP. Good to oh. see you, man. Hey, Aubrey. Have a good day. Yeah, you too, bud. With these testicleless insights, you no longer have to worry if you're being the beta male at the gym because you ensure you are. Enjoy your life of being sensitive, intellectual, unimpressive, unstrong, and fragile.